let's just say you go to buy gas and it says it's so many dollars and cents per gallon, okay? There's a place across town that's, you know, 25 cents a gallon cheaper. And so you're going to go across town and go to the cheaper gas because that makes perfect sense to you. But let's say the people who are charging you whatever the amount is over here, the first, the first station, they're actually charging you a specific amount for a actual gallon of gas that their, their, their um, uh, meters have been, have been uh, set correctly and it's an actual gallon of gas. But let's say that the place is a little cheaper. Well, they're not really giving you a full gallon. They're giving you like, uh, you know, four fifths of a gallon. Okay, they're kind of giving you close to a gallon, but that's not really a gallon. See, their measurements are wrong. So every time you put in a gallon of gas at station B, you're only getting four-fifths of a gallon. You're not really getting a gallon of gas, but you think you are, okay? So it, the guy who would own station B doesn't want gas from his own pump, right? Who owns station B wants to go to the other place and get an actual gallon because he knows I'm cheating everyone who gets gas from me. That verse, when it says, the same way you measure to others, we measure back to you, you know, do not judge, do not condemn, give, forgive. Oh, by the way, the same way you measure to others will be measured back to you. What he's saying is, is that, you know, if, if there's a, you know, a measurement, a scoop, a scale, however you want to word that, here's how you give out forgiveness to others. Well, here's how forgiveness is going to be given back to you. Here's how you're generous toward others. Well, here's how generosity will be given to you. Here's how you show grace to others. Then here's how grace will be shown to you. Every single topic you want to name, and from a biblical concept, the way that you give it to others is the way that God is going to give it back to you. Do you actually want to be judged the way you judge? Like, I, I'm not going to get into the day, but the passage below that that I've just been reading, the passage below that, they go into the, you know, if you're, um, if you've got a, you know, a splinter in your eye, can you take the splinter out of the other guy's eye, that whole kind of thing, right? And he's, what he's saying is, is that, that don't judge others, look at your own self, right? So do you really want people to find fault with you the way you find fault with others? 